Hi, church family. I'm Amber Johansson, and I am an ambassador for Christ because I work with students in local schools. Thank you for the opportunity to talk with you today about identity and truth. I have worked with students for almost 20 years, and I have seen our culture create a crisis of identity for many of them. The misguided notion of do what makes you happy has expanded to include an idea of a fluid identity, one that is neither fixed or definable. Now we can look at this crisis of identity through many different vantage points, but today I'm using the psychosocial development theory by Eric Erickson. According to this theory, we all go through eight stages of development and the successful completion of each determines the difference between a secure and an insecure identity. Specifically in stage five is when we form our sense of self, which occurs in the teen years. It's that time when we question who we are, how we fit in, and if we have value. This is known as the identity versus confusion stage because we either form a strong sense of self or a confused sense of self. So how do we describe a strong sense of self as secure and stable? What about a confused sense of self, insecure and unstable? So if a teen's foundation is chaotic or fluid, meaning there are no boundaries or clear sense of truth, then they are much more likely to develop an insecure and unstable sense of self. At worst, this may lead to an identity disturbance such as a borderline personality disorder, or at best, anxiety and depression, which we are seeing is rampant among our youth. Essentially, an insecure self is not anchored to anything and is being thrown around in the storm of culture. So let me give you a metaphor to bring this point home. Let's suppose that our teens are on a river rapid with no life jacket. The outcome is not good, even if they're good swimmers. The water and the waves are too powerful, which is our culture. So what they need is a disruptor, like a large rock or a tree to cling to. And in this metaphor, the rock is God. So what I'm saying is that in these times of rapidly changing chaotic culture, our youth need to know and be known by God, the great disruptor. There is no other reasonable or reliable option. God is the great disruptor and he is changing lives, even in this chaotic culture. In him, there are no crisis of identity and we can remain anchored to him by reading scripture, praying and staying connected to other believers. God's light is shining brighter than ever and we are standing as witnesses in this time of history to see it. I don't know about you, but that is definitely good news.